So we're looking at how an eight or nine year old might be asked to add together 369 and 148. We have a video clip on showing how they might do it with a number line. But this is how they may be asked to do it by partitioning. So they may be told to split each number up and to say, well, 369 is 300, add 60, add 9. So we've partitioned that one. And now we're partitioning 148. So 100, add 40, add 8. Then they could be asked to put the hundreds together. So 300 and 100 makes 400. 60 and 40 makes 100. 9 add 8 makes 17. And then combine them together. 400 add 100, 500 and 17. So that's one style of partitioning. But they may be asked to do it like this. Once they've laid it out like that, 9 add 8 is 17, 60 add 40 is 100, 300 add 100 is 400. So once again, 400 add 100 add 17 is 517. That's a method known as partitioning. It may be what your child is doing. Some schools use number lines, some use partitioning. And some might start to use a method using columns. So have a look at our video of method three, which is called the expanded method in columns. Mm.